let it out. We're going to get through this together. I'm going to ask you guys to sing along with me. If you don't mind, I think you guys might know it. And hopefully, I remember the words. Sing it loud, because we're all here for me. Itsy bitsy spider <laughs> went up the, the water sprout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the sprout again. <laughs> Mario was a big child. I mean, you all that. And there was nothing itsy bitsy about Maddie. <laughs> he made us laugh big. I think he was the tallest person I knew. That's a fact. He always had a smile on his face. Every time we saw him, work, red cup, the high low, whole land, or even when he didn't have a car and walking down Western, he had a smile for the children, spiders, and Sasha. He made smiles for every single second of the day. I was so lucky to spend so many happy hours with Manny. The pure happiness that embodied him was infectious. A brilliance that shined brighter than the sun that was almost blinding at times. I know we're all thinking how sad that it is that this man with such talent and capability and with a kindness and such an unusual funny way of doing things should be spirited away from us at the age of 48. Before he could achieve many things which he was creatively capable and before he had enough fun. Well, I feel like I should say nonsense. Good riddance. I don't even like him. He's a jerk. <laughs> I feel like I should say it because he would never forgive me if I didn't. If I threw this glorious opportunity away to get a laugh on his behalf. <laughs> he can make us laugh big and smile harder. He was the best. He was the greatest friend you can imagine. You guys know what I'm talking about. A fantastic human. <laughs> supported, caring, kooky. Kooky. Supported, caring, kooky. Kooky. And loving. The list goes on and on, but when I was listening to everything great about Maddie or what he had done, who he was, I, re I realized those words were in past tense. It's hard to think about him in the past tense when he was so present in all of our lives. Spiders. Ugh. Maddie, spiders. <laughs> Maddie loves spiders. Maddie is a spider. I was looking at facts about them, trying to figure out a way of what I could say for Maddie's love of spiders. And I ran across a wildlife biologist explain why spiders crawl on you, or if they do crawl on you. If a spider crawls on you, it means the spider had a specific destination in mind, and while it was doing its spider-esque things and handling its spidery business, you were just in its way. <laughs> and, I, and I'm so happy I was in Maddie's way. I think we're all happy that we were all in this way. And at this point, I'm going to ask uh, Susie to come up and share something. I'm going to have a few jelly. Shelly, sorry, stop, Susie. My brain's are great, guys. Shelly, family, sorry, hi. <laughs> and I have my wife Trisha to do this for me. And if she can't, she's going to point to somebody. <laughs> we all love Maddie. The kind, zany, unpredictable, and truly unique, wonderful person that he was. He had a way of just making you happier just from being in his presence. I'll tell you a few things about him. Some you may know, and hopefully some that will just make you smile. We all know Maddie was an amazing artist, right? He could mindlessly doodle out a five minute sketch, not even looking at his hand and walk away, and you'd just be looking what was there on the napkin or the receipt from the restaurant. It would just blow my mind always. His five minute doodles were appreciated by many people, except his 
supervisors at Subway Restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> All of the containers at the Subway where you worked, the mayonnaise jars, the napkin containers, the forks, and everything had big and sharp cap bold letters. Manny, do not draw on this. <laughs> <laughs> all the employees seen him, and they were all just so floored at his audaciousness that nobody even said a thing. <laughs> In Michigan, we kind of called him Skinny Glove. I know he's mad he's home to you guys. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart, for loving him, for feeding 
the soul of his body, and especially all those holiday meals when he couldn't be with us. We will all feel the impression in our hearts forever that he's left. <laughs> <laughs> and, and when I say depressed and snobby and goggy, I mean in a sarcastic way, where everything was so horrible, it was a great joke. And that's the best thing about life. Uh, that's where you can see the bright blues and the braver goth colors in his art. Um, my plan was just to take him back to New Orleans with me. Because we both decided the Paseo was just freaking weird, and we were going to go and live in New Orleans and all this nice stuff. And uh, I'm looking around at all these people here, and I'm so glad he stayed here. I'm so glad that he made friends with all of you, and that he wasn't as big of a snob really as I am. <laughs> um, my. I have a ton of favorite memories about Maddie, but I think most of them are inappropriate. (laughs) 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 Um, But my favorite one was, um, so you know, he came from Michigan and couldn't really uh, know people here, I think I already said that. Um, But he he had this, like, boyfriend, um, and they had broken up. (laughs) And that's kind of why he was on his own here. Uh, and they had a, he, well, the boyfriend had a blockbuster video account <laughs> that Maddie's name was on. So Maddie and I had a lot of fun racking up uh, late charges <laughs> and uh, damaged VHS's or DVDs or whatever um, <laughs> that this guy had to pay for. And this went on for a while. So this is, and every time we'd go back, we'd be like, oh, this is name going to be off, or we're going to get in trouble. And they would always be paid. <laughs> I don't know if you're here right now, but I'm not sorry. <laughs> Uh, so then he was like about two weeks later he called me and he didn't have a car and we did and he called me and he said I'm gonna go uh, oh well, the other thing is he did he only had a Michigan ID so they wouldn't let him get a car and he didn't want to go get a Oklahoma ID whatever cheap <laughs> ass um, so then he, he was like trying to get me to do it and I knew that I I didn't want to do that because he would do the same thing to me. (laughs) 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 He called me up a few weeks later and said, I I got my ID. I was like, all right. And I was like, let me see your picture. And he like weirdly like flashes it really quickly. 
And I was like, what? And then I like pull it from him, and it's like a homemade. Oklahoma, <laughs> Oklahoma, Oklahoma is spelled wrong. <laughs> And be an artist. 
<laughs> don't take the trash out. <laughs> get away with stuff and let people get away with stuff. You know? Okay, thanks guys. Maddie had a way of making everybody feel seen, even when he called about the wrong name. <laughs> maybe it was his height, maybe he could see his house from where he was standing, I don't know. <laughs> but he always made you feel seen. But he also chose to keep his eyes open. You ever notice how he never missed an opportunity to scare you? <laughs> to hide behind something or crawl under something because he always had his eyes open. Mm -hmm. He was looking for that opportunity. He painted me this thing about ostriches because I absolutely hate ostriches. And that's... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a real thing, and if you want to know about it, I'll tell you about it later, but I'm terrified of them. <laughs> and he looked up what a fear of birds is. There's a word, I guess, for it. He looked it up, he made this big painting about it, and left it for me for my birthday in my office one year. <laughs> because his eyes were open. Because he always chose to, he chose to see you. And there's nothing like feeling seen. But I also think that means he chose to see himself. And all the artwork that he did that was a self-portrait. I love, he would walk to work and see a reflection of himself in a store window and draw it when he got to the club. Every time, right? Because he could see himself. He kept his eyes open. Not only to know what was going on with himself, but to know what was going on with you. And I take that as a reminder. To choose to know myself. And just... to choose to keep my eyes open. Because I want to be like Maddie when I grow up. <laughs> 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 Number two, creativity. The spirit world states the meaning of a spider encourages you to make use of your creativity to create intricate, delicate, beautiful things. And Maddie did that. And so much more. Number three, happiness. Like the spider, he did not stop designing and constructing his life to one that he... <laughs> This one that was happy, beautiful, and inspiring. Number four, love. The infinity symbol meanings occur when, when you consider most spiders have eight eyes and eight legs. The number eight, infinity, means number eight involves cycles and the passage of time. Maddie loved everything with infinity. So we should choose love for infinity. Number five, purpose. 
Spiders don't spin webs, they spin meetings. Maddie's purpose and meaning was for, his, for our kids here at the Boys and Girls Club. He opened a door to a new way for kids to have a way and an outlet for bravery to create. Number six, laughter. <laughs> Maddie had a way, a way to stay laughing, to giggle, to make jokes, have fun, and be silly, to stay silly, to bring fun into any situation, whether it was appropriate or not. <laughs> we need to always remember to stay silly and keep it fun. Number seven, kindness. Maddie chose kindness, always, to people he loved and to people he barely knew, <laughs> to every animal, Every spider, he was kind and gentle. He was even kind to the planet. He used to take the kids out on litter patrol. Number eight, authenticity. Maddie was unapologetically himself, and his confidence. And in his confidence, he invited everyone else to come along for the ride and step into that same unapologetic place to be exactly who you are. He loved God, but he borrows that perfect sun and blue sky. Maddie, Duke, Matthew Robert Lynch, our goth angel, but Oklahoma's Mr. Blue Sky. Let's dance.